to try out some great stuff in the kitchen this morning, Cherish. Yeah, and Nita and Frank are joining us, University of Southern Mississippi Gulf Coast Research Lab in Ocean Springs. And we're talking seafood today. We're talking lemon fish ceviche, also known as cobia. And I know that's what you're going to be talking about a little bit. When it comes to cobia, Mississippi's only designated saltwater game fish is the cobia, right? That's correct. Uh, that, that was put in place a few years ago. Uh, it's a it's a highly highly sought after sport fish. Uh -huh. Tastes really great. Of course, Anita's such a great chef, and what she's preparing is going to be just wonderful. But you know, we uh, we also learned uh, we've learned quite a bit about the biology and the science of Kobe over the years through our research at the laboratory. Yeah. So we'll be talking about that in an upcoming seminar series at the laboratory. In fact, this Thursday night. Thursday night. Okay, going to be talking about that and how to catch more cobia. If you're a fisherman, you definitely want to watch or want to be there for that. But you also want to watch right now because maybe you'll give us a couple of hints. Yeah, uh, you know, cobia are beginning to show up in our waters. They're a migratory species and uh, they're being caught. They've just shown up over the last week or so. And, uh, and you have to have the right tackle. You have to have the right attitude. And you have to know where to go. Okay. And uh, right now, you're along the beaches, along the, the, the sandbars and the beaches, and sight casting for them seems to be the best way to fish for them now. These are big fish. Some of them go well over 100 pounds. So it's exciting, and uh, it's just beginning. Yeah, that'll feed a family. Speaking of feed, how, uh, if someone has never had severe, uh, has never had cobia, how does this taste? What is the flavor? It's got a little bit, call it lemon fish, and it's got a little bit of a lemon uh, flavor to the fish itself and what we're doing is we're adding and enhancing to that because we're going to put some um, lime juice and lemon juice in there and then we're going to cure the fish it's not really cooking it but it's curing it so so it's more like a, a white fish like a tilapia rather than like a salmon right and it, but it's very firm and, and it uh, is a very light tasting fish so okay it's great to do a lot of things with and, and ceviche really brings out the flavor of the fish and the dish itself tastes very fresh okay so first you've washed and cubed some cobia. That's right. And what I've done is I put it in a jar because um, it'll be great to start this process when you're out there fishing. So you want to use fresh cobia. Good idea. Uh, you know, your catch. So while you're cleaning your fish, you can set a little bit aside. I usually save this job for somebody who's standing around talking while I'm working. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're I'm picturing <laughs> you on this giant yacht, like out there. Oh, that's good. For you that's as good. you're making all the ceviche yeah. and that's the little right. appetizers. That's, okay. Am, am I there as well? Yeah. Of course. Well, you're fishing. Of yeah. course, somebody has to get this fish for her. Somebody has to help that's her right. eat all this good stuff. That is true. So um, we've added some salt and pepper to our um, fresh caught up uh, cut up cobia and then we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice. It's actually a smaller amount of lemon juice. This is a quarter cup and then we're going to add more half a cup of lime juice and then we're going to mix that up and then just pop that into our ice chest. And this basically cooks the fish. It cures it, it cooks it, um, it's, it's technically it's curing the fish. Uh -huh. And so it's going through those acids or doing a chemical process on that fish and it makes it al dente, mm -hmm. um, but it still keeps it very fresh and light. So, so you don't have to put it in the do. pan or in the oven or that's anything right. after that. That's this. why it's great to have it on a boat um, while you're out fishing because that means you can have yourself a cocktail <laughs> and a little... Um, a little appetizer at the same time. I want to ride on your yacht because you're just making it better and better as I picture it in my head and I'm picturing the big party. It sounds fun. Hopefully oh, you will bring us along. Fun. Maybe some of these guys watch and bring us along. Okay, this recipe is on fox10tv.com on our Studio 10 page. In just a few minutes, we're going to tell you a little bit more about this seminar that's coming up Thursday from 6 to 8, all about the secrets to catching more cobia. We are back in our Studio 10 kitchen with Anita and Jim from the USM Gulf Coast Research Lab in Ocean Springs. Good to see y'all. Thank nice you. Nice to be here. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for being here. And we're working on some cobia or lemon fish this morning. Where are we at in the process, Anita? Well, we've drained our lemon fish, uh, drained all of our citrus off of there. And then we've added a little bit of olive oil. And then mm -hmm. we're going to add some fresh veggies. Um, okay. A nice purple onion is going to go in. A little bit of a t chopped tomato that's been seeded. Now, how did you come up with this recipe for lemon fish? Is this what people usually do, or are there several different ways to prepare it? This is pretty the, much the standard recipe for ceviche, okay. where, regardless of what kind of fish or seafood that you're using. Okay. So, and this is jalapeno, so we've chopped that up small. 
And then we're going to finish that off with a little bit of cilantro and mix it up. And what did you have over here? Did you put this in before? I did, and that's olive oil. It's olive extra oil. virgin olive oil. Okay. And then, um, like I said, we drained off our citrus juices so it wouldn't be so, you wouldn't be overpowered by your lime and your lemon. Sure. And as you can see, that's nice and colorful in there. And then we'll plate that up and we can serve it with lettuce or chips or um, on bread, any way you want to eat it. First, Just we're letting all those flavors that's come right. together and that goodness soak together. Now, before you prepare the fish, you have to catch it. And that's why we're here talking about some awesome classes coming up. Tell us what's going on. Well, this uh, we're engaged in a uh, four-part seminar series, mm -hmm. Catch More Fish with uh, Science. And actually, we've, we've come up with a scheme of, and it's a good idea, of matching uh, a fish biologist mm -hmm. with a fishing guide or a, a tackle shop owner or someone who has a lot of experience fishing on the water. Mm -hmm. We both work together sort of uh, during a one or two hour seminar series at the laboratory to talk about the biology, talk about how to catch the fish. It's really a good way to team up uh, and let our public know more about how to go out and catch these great fish. Yeah. Well, what a great idea, too, because you're kind of combining two different worlds there, the scientific analyst aspect of it and the people who just go out there every day and think, well, I know how to do this, I know the techniques, that kind yeah. of stuff. Well, this is really a unique process. It's mm -hmm. our first time to do this. Uh, we have two follow-up uh, sessions after the one this Thursday night. We have one in May and June, mm -hmm. entirely different species to talk about. So it's a lot of fun. We think the people will learn quite a bit about it. We might, you know, even uh, give them a few secrets here and there. And, of course, you know, then Anita, you know, she's always so great with this, and she's been part of putting all this together. So it's really an interesting opportunity for the fishing public. Well, that is definitely true. And there you see on the screen this Thursday, focusing specifically on cobia. And I've been fortunate to catch a few cobia in my day, and, boy, they are a fun, uh, fun fish to catch. Yeah. And if you go on Thursday night, you can catch more of them. Well, we think so. <laughs> all yeah, right. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> well, we're going to finish this up when we come back in just a little while. Making something good in the kitchen this morning with Jim and Anita from the University of Southern, Marie, Southern Mississippi Marine Education Center. They're also from the research lab. We're making some ceviche today with cobia, also known as lemon fish. Right. And you were saying earlier, Anita, that's because it has a little bit of a lemon flavor. It has a little lemon tang to the fish, and it's one of the fish that chefs love to cook with because it is so flavorful, and it's got a nice, firm flesh, too. And you've added a little more lemon and some lime and some other things this morning. That's right. We finished off our ceviche, and uh, we have plated it in our bowl here and added a little olive oil, give it a nice texture to it, and look, and make sure and, and drain it so that you get those citric juices off of there and so they don't interfere with your taste. And you can serve it with crackers or chips, but today we've got lettuce, so we can serve it like a little lettuce wrap. Very okay. fresh. Let's make some lettuce wraps. And just as a reminder, in case you're just joining us, maybe you don't know a whole lot about ceviche, basically the lemon and the lime acids cook the fish so you don't have to put it in the oven, you don't have to put it on the stovetop or anything like that. And how long do you need to keep it in the acids? Probably it depends on the size that you cut the fish. So it's the smaller, the shorter amount of time. Smaller the pieces, shorter amount of time. And so this was about two hours. We put it in the lemon juice just before we left uh, Ocean Springs. Okay, so as you start rolling some of these great lettuce wraps with ceviche, we're going to talk about a great seminar some secrets to catching more cobia happening this Thursday night, 6 to 8. Frank's going to tell us about that. And by the way, this is something that you're going to be serving. That's right. And I hope to be able to maybe participate in some of this in a few minutes as well. <laughs> yeah, well, of course. We <laughs> but, have to taste it. Yeah, well, this Thursday night's going to be real interesting. And again, this is a unique first time, uh, first time for us as a, a laboratory uh, activity to team a biologist, a fish biologist. And I, I'm, the, I'm coming up this Thursday with Captain Danny Patello. From mm -hmm. Biloxi, he's the owner of Gorn Flow's Tackle and Marina Shop, and also a very knowledgeable cobia fisherman. So we're going to team up for this two-hour seminar series held at the lab, the Gulf Coast Research Lab in Ocean Springs, talk about cobia, a little bit about the science, but primarily how to catch cobia, how to, to rig the, uh, your, your tackle, the baits, where to go. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we, we're really looking forward to that opportunity. And you said it's going to be at the Research Center, and give us the address. It's 703 East Beach Drive in Ocean Springs. It's down okay. at the foot of Halstead Road, right on the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're the only facility there. It's a wonderful place. Been there about 70 years. And one of the highlights of those 70 years, I think, will be this Thursday night for this seminar series. Okay. So, so we're looking forward to it. Information was there on your screen. If you missed it, you can find it on fox10tv.com on our Studio 10 page. You can also find this recipe 
Secrets to Catching More Cobia Thursday night from 6 to 8. This looks fantastic, and here's our lettuce wrap. That's right. We've got it all ready to go.